Okay. I think I am officially ready. Oh, wait. Let's open this. They could... Well, for $28, I ain't gonna complain. I was gonna say they could at least put it in a box, but it was $28. It ain't a $300 perfume. Okay. How... Ex Can I smell it from here? All right. I'm ready. No. One more time. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Vinia McCall. Thank you so much for being with me today. Today is um, a blind by first impressions of the new... I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I'm going to mess it up. But it is a collection or um, a collab with Jay Bond. I believe that's her last name. And she is a pretty well-known fragrance content creator. She's also a black girl. And you know I'm team support black people, especially when bigger brands acknowledge them or recognize them. I'm here for that. So the brand Le Mans Gourmand collaborated with her and two other content creators. And so I made sure to support the black girl, of course. So I went ahead and bought it. And we're going to do blind buy first impressions on this. All right. That's what we're doing today. Before we get into that, I have to always thank my amazing, beautiful, incredible subscribers. You guys continue to hold it down while I was down, okay? Your girl was down bad. Um, that that strap, I'm still not 100%, but I feel much, much, much better. And I felt myself, I was like, if you don't get back on here and film soon, a week gonna turn into two weeks, gonna turn into a month, gonna turn into a year. So, uh, just, I could continuously thankful for all the support, for all the love, for y'all holding it down. Um, I am so, so, so excited to see that y'all are loving the journal and enjoying it and using it. Um, if you haven't used it yet, I'll put it in the link down here as well. There is a, um, link to, like, leave a review. It's completely anonymous. No place to leave your name or anything. Um, just giving, like, thoughts or feedback on things related to the journal. Like, likes, dislikes, what would you like to see in future editions, potentially in the years to come. Um, there's also a place where you can upload a picture of, like, the journal, you're you writing in it or like a you know as it's used or however you want to send it um you can do that some people just email me which is also fine too but it's just so incredible to see like people using something that you created and they're like loving and finding purpose in it and like finding it useful and helpful like whoa I ain't gonna go into too much depth of, like my thoughts about everything I'll do that during the the relaunch or the the hard launch which I would circle my calendar for like June 6th Okay, if, if I was, I'm waiting on it to, sh <clears throat> you hear my voice still being weird. I'm waiting for it to come to me. So that's why I'm not going to give a definitive date because I want to make sure it makes it here to me first before I um, say definitively that that's what the date is. But based on when it's expected to get to me and based on how they've previous, previously been pretty good about shipping, I'm going to say I would circle June 6th. Okay, don't. Hold, if it's not June 6th, it's only because it hasn't gotten to me yet. That's the only reason. But tentatively, the first full week of June is my goal for that. Um, but I I just, I love y'all for just holding it down, supporting. Y'all, I haven't even like launched it, launched it for like, the, for real, for real to the world. And it's like, y'all have been like showing up. So I love y'all so much. Thank you. That was a long intro, but I've been going away a while. So I got to talk a little bit. <laughs> so without further ado this is the peach one here again i ain't gonna say the name because i know i'm gonna tear it up and also shout out to le man gourmand for even having the idea to collab with creators to recognize the necessity of creators and to recognize the value and the weight that they hold as creators and their input and their impact as well um and i always love and appreciate when brands aren't scared of creators and aren't like they use them as they're meant to be used. They not take advantage, but just use them to their advantage. You know, like I'm always, I always look at brands with more respect when they do that, when they treat creators well and they appreciate and use them correctly. I'm, I'm always, I'm always team that. Okay, so, all right, we'll spray it and then we'll sniff it. I feel like I didn't complete a thought earlier, but that's just really how it be. So first... Okay, those are good sprays. And this is $28, super affordable for a one ounce. Ooh, I'm already smelling. I'm already sniffing. Okay, 
This is, the top note is peach, crumble, cinnamon, and orange. The mid notes is cocoa, white rose, and caramel. The base note is creamy vanilla, soft woods, and baked musk. Okay? And it's already whiffing from here. Let's get into it. This is good. This literally smells like exactly what you think it smells like. Okay? Now, you, I don't even know. I'm not even supposed to be doing layering combos. I'm not supposed to be doing layering combos. However, 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 where is it? Oh, see, that's what you get for being responsible and putting something back where it belongs. I'm already come to tell you that new fun fair from Dawkins Aroma with this peach situation here can't keep them off you. You're not gonna be able to keep them off you. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Back to the topic at hand. But I'm just saying, um, this smells like exactly what you think it smells like. Okay, it smells like a peach. Um, I want to say syrupy. It smells like a peach crumble. It smells like a peach crumble, but it's not overly bready. It's not um, super heavy. It's a light, fruity, sweet, a little syrupy peach scent. Like well, everything that I read in the notes, this is literally what I would expect this scent to smell like. Here's what I'll say. Don't go into this overthinking it. Okay, don't go into this expecting some super niche smell, super knob, super, um, you know, unheard of. Like, don't overthink it. It is what it is. It is a very simple, very nice, very pretty peach gourmand smell. You get, like, basically everything you says it's supposed to get, you get. Let me put a little on my arm. I think this is going to be perfect for the summertime. Uh oh, I accidentally sprayed it, putting it in here. Oh yeah, the whiffs are whiffing. The whiffs are whiffing. Ooh, so what comes more alive on the skin? Ooh, it's a juicy peach too. It is a juicy peach. Um, There's something that I get more on the skin that I don't get on the test strip in a good way. I have to sneeze. Hmm, it's a little more grounded on the skin. You get more of the mid and the base notes on the skin which is good but still still don't take it too serious don't expect i don't want to say juvenile because it's not immature it's just lighthearted. it's lighthearted, right like it's supposed to be fun and enjoyable flirty in the sun like think ice cream shop think um bakery shop like think those type of vibes but in an enjoyable way not juvenile just in a lighthearted and enjoyable way this is actually really good. This is actually really, really good. Let me tell you, let me think. Besides that fun beer, because that's going to be a vibe. <laughs> um, let me think of what else I'll wear this with. Honeysuckle Peach Tea is looking at me right now. You could. I wouldn't know. Well, I, it's not that I wouldn't. Because you could. You honestly couldn't even be good. But to me, that takes it in a different direction. But it still is that. Because the honeysuckle peach tea can be a little bitter to some people and a little tart. This isn't that. So I am, let me try to think objectively. Because I like peach. But there's a lot of people who don't like peach or get iffy about peach because it can be a little tart. I don't think this is a tart peach. I think this is a juicy, fruity peach. With a little cinnamon, it's a little bready. There's something on the tip of my tongue that I'm thinking of, but it's not coming to me. Now, Fizzy Peach from Victoria's Secret, that would be good. Um, really anything. You can lean into more of the vanilla. You can lean into, um, oh, there's a peach body oil that I have from Luxurious Beauty. Um, oh, Jimmy Choo, I Want You. That's, of course, peach. Um... Yeah, I would just keep this super light, super fun, and don't overthink it. It's nice. It's enjoyable. It kind of reminds me of something, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Why do I want to wear this with pear creme brulee? I don't know why that's in my spirit, but I would wear that with that too. I like it though. It's really nice. Um, I, of course, I don't think it's going to be like super beast mode. I mean, from what I'm smelling, <coughs> it's not like dying away on my skin. Like I can clearly still smell it. And for $28, I am not going to be mad. Now, because I am who I am, I just felt like it was another time to do a giveaway, okay? So I went ahead and purchased another one, okay? This is another bottle of the peach scent from Jade. So I popped two 
to support a black woman in a collab with a major brand, okay? Um, but also because I wanted to do a giveaway. So, if you don't know, because we do have a lot of new faces here, okay? I do not do the traditional giveaway style. Meaning, um, I, it's not follow me on Instagram, tag me three times, like it, da 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 uh -uh. I like to do over here what I call trivia giveaway. Giveaway trivia or trivia giveaway? Giveaway trivia. So, how it works is, I will pose a question, okay? On the community tab, I will write a question. It will be open for 24 hours, okay? If you submit an answer after 24 hours, it just won't go into the giveaway. Everyone who writes the correct answer under the question on the community tab page will be entered into the giveaway. Okay, one more time. I will ask a question. Or it would be on the community tab page. Okay. Everyone who puts the right answer to the question under that community tab post will be entered into the giveaway. If you put the answer here, it will not count. Because I won't be looking for here from the for the answers. I will be looking under the community tab post. Okay. Um, anyone can enter, whether you subscribed yesterday or when I first made a video, like there's no restraints or limits if you if you're here and you see the video you can um enter uh so let's think of a question really quickly okay this is gonna be kind of hard i'm gonna tell you now it is kind of hard but some people gonna know it you might have to do a little research i don't know some people gonna know automatically there is a scent from bath and body works that I had a very hard time with finishing up, okay? It is since then been finished, so that's a clue because there's another one I'm having a hard time with, but I, don't, I still haven't finished it up. It was, it has since been finished up. It was in at least two Project Use It Ups. I believe it was in the first one I ever did, and then I believe the second one, and I believe it made it to a perfume tray or two, okay? Um, and the only hint that I will, should I give a hint? Nope, I'm not, I'm not gonna give a hit yet. But I gave plenty of, about Project Use It Ups and the tray. Um, but there is a scent specifically from Math and Body Works that everyone loves and everyone raved about. And I fell for the hype and I thought that I loved it too. But I had finally came to the realization that I like I really don't like this scent like that and I'm ready for it to go. What is the name of that scent? It is a hard question. I realize that. But I just feel like some of y'all, because it was y'all favorites and y'all love it and I talked about it so much, some of y'all are going to immediately know. So, you know, if you know the answer, if you want to do a little research, I don't know. Go ahead and try and submit. And if not, we'll try. There, there will be more giveaway, okay? I think I still need to do two more for 5K, I think. And then 6K will probably be starting soon. So, um, yeah, that is going to be, it's going to be not under, don't put the answer under this video. If you don't, if you, if you just want to participate, you can just put it under the comments of this video. Cause some people do that. They're like, I know the answer. I'm just going to put it under here, but I'm not trying to get in the giveaway. That's totally fine. But if you want to be answered into the giveaway, you got to go where? To the community tab. Amen. Uh, first of all. I'm too church. Why do I call it a community tab? It should be to the community church, to the community center. You know, the church got the fellowship hall, but we have built the little community center up the street. Walk on over to the... <laughs> Walk on over to the community center, okay? There will be a cake and punch. <laughs> I'm so churchy. Okay. So that's everything. It wasn't supposed... It wasn't going to be super long because... Mmm, this reminds me of something. The dry down is giving me like, I think the dry down is giving me like Peach Bellini from Bath and Body Works. It's something. Oh, you know what? Isn't there a peach one? Is it reminding me of Peach Prosecco Macaron? You could definitely wear it with that. You could definitely wear it with that. But I want to say the dry down is giving me a little Peach Bellini. I like it though. Um, Community tab. Jade Bob. I think that's what she go by on TikTok and stuff. Um, so shout out to you. Shout out to her. If you see this, even if, even if you don't, congratulations. Shout out to you. That is amazing. That's a big deal. Congratulations. Um, also, I'm so behind, right, on everything. Like videos, where, who, what, when, where, how. This what I need y'all to do. Y'all got a lot of homework because y'all got to go to the community center and 
if I call it a community center, people are going to be so confused. But that just feels like me. <laughs> yeah, I got to go over there and answer the giveaway question. But I also need y'all, because people, I'm going to do better with this too. People be like, can you make a video about this? And I'll be like, uh -huh, yeah, girl. And then it leaves my brain. Like, I never remember, which means I need to write it down. So I'm going to do that this time. But if there was a video or a topic that you have already asked me to make, or you heard me say I was going to make, but I ain't make it yet. Put it down in the comments. Or if there's just a video that you want to see me make, put it down in the comments, please. Because I need to, like, get a little bit organized and figure out what videos I'm actually going to do, what I'm not going to do, what people actually want to see, if I just want to see it. Like, even if it was from, like, six months ago. Just tell me again, because I need to, like, write it out and get myself together. So, um, if you heard me mention a video that I said I was going to make, but I haven't made it yet, put it down because I might have forgot. If you asked me for it to make a video about a topic and I said yes, but you ain't seen it yet, put it down because I probably forgot. And if there was just something that you mentioned or that you would like to see that you haven't seen or whatever, a question, whichever, just go ahead and put it down there. And I'm going to go down there and read it, write everything down so I can get back on topic. I will say as I'm moving, the whiffs are whiffing. The whiffs are whiffing. All right, y'all, that's all. It's going to be a slow... Is this inside out or no? I think this is that Fenty hoodie. This is how it be. Um, this going to be a slow roll back into society because my throat already hurt even a little bit just now. But I got to get back on because I got things to do. I got things to do. People to see I got a rollout to plan, okay, a full rollout to plan. Um, I'm working on some other things, some merch, some merch that y'all haven't seen yet. <laughs> I got a, not a prototype, but I got... um. Picked up some versions to choose from the other day, and it's 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 either gonna y'all either gonna love it or hate it. No in between, no in between. It's either a love or hate. But I've rambled enough. I love y'all immensely. Y'all always continue to hold it down. That's all. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next one.